Hey guys, it's Lindsay. So today's video, I'm going to be helping you guys out with some Netflix TV shows because if you are like me, you watch Netflix shows all summer. If you are like me, comment down below so I don't feel alone. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm not forcing you, don't worry. You don't have to click it. It's not mandatory but I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of this summer we are at 487 subscribers so, so I know we can do it and if you guys want to stay tuned for more of my videos and you want to know when I post them don't forget to click that little bell it will notify you every time I upload a video and without further ado let's get on with the video so this section is gonna be sci-fi and action so the first one is Supergirl I love this show it's really good I really like Supergirl she's doing her thing, saving the world. It's very good. It gets intense, guys. You should watch it. <laughs> the next show is The Tomorrow's People. It's basically about people who can teleport and stuff like that. It's very similar to Supergirl. Last one in this category is Once Upon a Time. I love Once Upon a Time. I know I keep saying this, I'm in love with Disney, but this show is really cool. It has Disney fairy tales and it has like a twist to it. And it's really cool to see how like all the backstories behind all the princesses and all the fairy tales. Next one is comedies. I'm going to talk about Miranda Sings for a little bit. <laughs> Miranda Sings is very funny. She can be really funny, you know. You know, it's a little weird, but if you guys want to get a laugh, I would definitely recommend Haters Back Off. It's really funny. Next show is One Day at a Time. One Day at a Time is so funny. I have this Cuban family and they like go through all these funny things together and like real stuff together want to laugh even more i would definitely recommend watching one day at a time this is the last category this category is filled with a lot <laughs> i just love drama tv shows i don't know why i love drama tv shows so much but they're just so good so i would definitely recommend 13 reasons why but i would only recommend it for 15 and older the show can get really intense and it's very graphic. In order to prove a point to people, you have to be graphic, you know? You have to show how disgusting things could be and look. That way it gets to your brain and you're like, oh, I'm never gonna do that. I know that it will help a lot of people. I don't know about you guys, but it helped me just to know that crazy things happen in this world and that no one's alone in this world. Next show is Riverdale. I don't know how to describe this show without spoiling anything to you guys, so I'm just gonna read what they say on Netflix. It says, at Riverdale High, Betty, Archie, Jughead, and a new girl, Veronica, wrestle with clashing desires while copping with a fellow student's tragic death. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys. I didn't recommend this for younger children either. Next one is the Secret Life of American Teenager. I feel like it's a bunch of teenagers that are making, you know, mistakes in their lives and like what they're doing to solve it and take control of it. Pretty much all these shows I'm listing, I would only recommend for teenagers. Not exactly little kid friendly. And Carrie Diaries. Oh, I love this show. I already watched this show three times. It's about this girl who's like my age. She lost her mom like I did. So I kind of find it a relatable in that way. Her sister and her and her dad are like, you know, trying to get through life. And they're going through all their dramas and fun times. Next show is One Tree Hill. This show is so good. So, so good. Again, more high schoolers. <laughs> they're going their separate ways. They're doing their separate things. It basically shows that everybody goes through something and it kind of shows their point of view of things. Next show is Vampire Diaries. I thought I wouldn't like it because I don't like scary things, but this show is actually really good. To be honest, it's kind of like Twilight, but a, a more intense version of Twilight. I feel like there's more action in this compared to Twilight. I would definitely recommend it if you like action slash creepy slash romance show. <laughs> Pretty Little Liars is my ultimate favorite show ever. And it just ended, which is so sad. So I'm sure in a couple weeks, all the seasons will be on Netflix. I know a lot of people don't like it because they don't like the suspense. Like they don't like waiting so long to know about a certain person. I like the mystery and the suspense that it gives off. So I like those type of shows, but if you don't like those type of shows, I wouldn't recommend this. So there's these group of girls who are trying to figure out who is threatening them. Bitten. This is also kind of like Vampire Diaries, 
but it is about werewolves. The Fosters. Pretty much all the shows I watch are like based around high schoolers. This show is a bunch of kids who were adopted by these two gay women who take them in and you know take care of them and so they have to you know take care of them go through all that teenage drama i like how real it is a lot of crazy things go on in these kids lives and i think it could relate to a lot of people out there too next show is dance academy if you guys like dance movies or dance shows i would definitely recommend this show it's about this girl she has a dream of dancing and she goes off to this school and she meets all these people and she you know does what she loves dance and they all dance together and go through all this drama and next show is switched at birth this is obviously two girls that got switched at birth so they all kind of join together and learn about each other's lives and what has gone on next show this is 90210 it's about this family who moves to california and they have to you know go to a new school they all you know become friends and last show is gossip girl it's actually a really good show so i would definitely recommend watching that if you're in, if you're into those like gossip type drama shows basically everything that goes on goes onto this website where all these gossips go it humiliates people so those are all the tv shows i have today and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you guys want me to show you some Netflix movies, don't forget to comment down below and let me know. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye, guys.